Hi and welcome to a new bullet journal plan with me. Today we're going to set up my June weekly spreads in my bullet journal. I am still doing my Animal Crossing theme. If you haven't watched my monthly plan with me, I linked the video up in the right corner and also in the description box. Now on to today's video. I decided to do a Dutch door theme, which basically means I will cut bits of the page away to make the setup more functional and interesting. As you can see, first I made a mini calendar and now I'm drawing out boxes for each day of the week. Friday, Saturday and Sunday have bigger boxes since I work Monday through Friday and I have a lot more time to tackle tasks on the weekend. For example, most of the cleaning, drawing, painting, filming and editing. At the top section of each box I can write down any events or appointments. The middle one is for listing all my to-dos and at the bottom I have some space to journal about the day. Of course, I added drop shadows to each box just like I've been doing throughout the whole theme. After that, I colored some days in the mini calendar, standing for appointments, school stuff and birthdays. Probably half of my family members have their birthdays in June, so it's always a super busy month. Then I started decorating using some craft paper and my self-made fake Animal Crossing stickers. Therefore I used marker paper and my new Uhuhu markers. I made a video where I tested and reviewed the 72 color set, so in case you want to check that out, it will also be linked in the top right corner and in the description box. And here you can see me cutting away from the page for the first time. I will prepare all the weekly layouts and each time cut away this top right section so that I can flip through all the weeks but still be able to see the upper part with my mini calendar and so on. After that I also put down my grass washi tape which I've been wanting to use for so long and now finally found a perfect opportunity to do so. Then I did some more decorating and started to do the box layouts again for the next weeks. But we will be skipping this part so you don't have to watch it all over again and jump right to the fun part, doing more decorating. I turned the craft paper pieces into my goals and to-do section, so I'll always be able to see them thanks to the Dutch door layout. And that's it for my weekly spreads. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what supplies I used, check out the description box. And if you want to see more of my art or my bullet journal spreads, you can click on another video or check out my Instagram at arts underscore Medina or my Twitter page. Those links are also in the description box. See you on my next video. Until then, bye!